Good day, grade 10 students. Once again, I am Ms. Rox Travis from Das Marinas North National High School. And today, I'm going to discuss the equation for Boyle's Law. So first, let us state Boyle's Law. Boyle's Law states that the volume of a confined gas is inversely proportional to its pressure given that the temperature is constant. So to put this law in an equation, we will be using symbols. So first, we will be writing V to represent volume and T to represent pressure. K stands for constant and for Boyle's Law, temperature is constant. So as you can see in our equation, the letter V, which stands for volume, is written in the numerator in the left side of the equation, while P for pressure is written in the denominator at the right side of our equation. This indicates inverse proportionality. Now, when we cross-multiply volume and pressure, we'll have V times P equals to K, which is our constant. What does this mean? If a gas is brought into two different conditions, the product of its volume and its pressure is always going to be constant. Therefore, initial volume times initial pressure is equal to final volume times final pressure. Now, to put these things into a mathematical expression, we will use 1 to indicate initial and 2 to indicate final. Therefore, we can write V1 times P1 is equal to V2 times P2. Now, let's have a sample problem. A scuba diver needs a diving tank in order to provide breathing gas while he is underwater. How much pressure is needed for 6 liters of gas at 1 atmospheric pressure to be compressed in a 3-liter cylinder? Before we solve this problem, let us first identify our given. So first we have 6 liters of gas and this is going to be our initial volume and therefore we will call it V1. Next is our 1 atmospheric pressure, which is our initial pressure, and therefore we will indicate this as P1. And lastly, we have 3 liter cylinder, and this is going to be our final volume, so we will call it V2. What do we need to solve? We are asked how much pressure. And so therefore, we are going to solve P2 or the final pressure. Now, what will be our equation? V1 times P1 is equal to V2 times P2. Substituting our given values to this equation, we'll have 6 liters times 1 atmosphere is equal to 3 liters times the unknown, which is P2. Now, we will be dividing both sides 3 liters for us to be able to solve for our unknown. And so now we'll have P2 is equal to 6 liters times 1 atmosphere divided by 3 liters. So the answer is P2 is equal to 2. Now when we cancel the unit's liters, the remaining unit will be atmosphere. So the final answer will be P2 or final pressure is equal to to atmosphere. This only means that when a certain volume of gas is placed into a container with lesser volume, this gas will be compressed. And so therefore, we expect that the pressure that will be exerted by the molecules of this gas will increase. So this only proves the Boyle's law which states that the volume of a confined gas is inversely proportional to its pressure given that the temperature is constant. So when the volume increases, its pressure decreases. And on the other hand, when the volume decreases, its pressure will increase.